Today we're going to look at using hydrogen peroxide as a treatment for string algae in your natural swim pond or backyard, recreational, or fish pond. It's been used for years by koi enthusiasts as a safe alternative to copper-based treatments or ionizers, as copper can harm koi fish and other fish in the trout or salmon family. You do have to be careful with the hydrogen peroxide. You don't want it to get on your skin, anything like that, definitely not in your eyes. With some safe mixing, it can be a good alternative to these products to help eliminate a algae problem in your pond or as a maintenance dose just to keep it in check. Let's take a look here how we do this and we'll look at what the results are once we're done. I'm going to be mixing up a 35% solution of hydrogen peroxide. This can be available from chemical supply companies or here I got this from an agricultural supply company where it's used as a sanitizer in different feed areas or processing areas as an alternative to bleach which has its own whole suite of issues. So I want to dilute this down to being about a 10% solution. I'm going to take an old 4 liter jug I have here, fill it about two thirds with pond water and then top the rest up with the hydrogen peroxide. So I'm not putting in quite as strong of a dose into the pond. Then I'll pour it into the watering can and apply it more directly to where I have algae issues that I want to deal with. And as well then it, it will uh, disperse throughout the pond and eliminate algae from other places as well. So when you're looking at uh, you know, an initial outbreak that you're trying to deal with and you maybe have a lot of algae you want to kill off and then obviously have to scoop out, you're likely going to put in about a liter for every 10,000 gallons of this solution. So, you know, this four liter jug and give it a go, see how the algae gets knocked back and then maybe do another treatment and see where that goes. And then you could get down to a much more diluted solution, maybe even a three or five percent, uh, four liters of it on a weekly basis. A little bit of a trial and error with each pond, depending how big it is and how bad the algae problem is of how much to use. But with any product, I'd recommend starting small, starting low with a low dosage and adding more over time, rather than overdoing it and possibly damaging the plant life or animal life that is in your pond. So I'll get this mixed up and then we'll go and uh, show how we apply this on the pond. So yeah, a lot of times people use this uh, peroxide really to treat up the rocks and waterfall spillways. You don't like the look of algae like this, which is you know, fairly normal, fairly common, quite healthy, but the aesthetics of it are um, a personal preference. In an area with a larger clusters of algae, I would typically pull that out and remove as much by hand as you can, and then allow the peroxide to treat the more residual clusters and clumps that will be in and amongst the rocks or in and amongst your plants. I'll pull a little bit of this out and then we'll go and spread some with the watering can. You know, anyone who has done this knows what it's all about. Great to throw into your perennial gardens. Makes a nice fertilizer, lots of nutrients tied up in that algae. So we'll pull some more of that out and then sprinkle in some of the peroxide. My algae's 
spot up top there. And with the watering can, applying directly to the places that you want to affect the most. See it bubbling and foaming right away, much like peroxide does on anything you use to clean it or if you ever used it on a, on a cut as a disinfectant. The 3% solution is from the pharmacy, so it's much the same, but as a much stronger oxidizer, this will actually kill off the algae. Obviously I've turned off the waterfall before doing this where I want it to act more like a contact algicide. If you were distributing it through your pond as more of a maintenance dose, so your algae is in check, and now you want to add a small dose of this once a week, you'd leave all your system flowing. If you have a bead filter, you might want to leave this off for a while. Keep the peroxide from entering the bead filter where it could oxidize and kill the beneficial bacteria. Leave the filter off, let it do its contact work around the pond more directly. Maybe leave it off for a day if you're able to. The peroxide, once it gets used up from oxidizing primarily any organics or dirt in the pond and the algae, then it won't be available to harm the bacteria in your bead filter or your biofalls for that matter. We're gonna go around and apply a bit more. We'll see how it works. See it's bubble action already. But the real test is come back and look in a day or two and see how the algae has died off and gone white and is ready to be scooped out. See I have some down in here. I'd like specifically treated. around our step entry and such. So I'll pour it more directly in those places, knowing that it will also spread and disperse and get other parts of the pond as well. I see it in and amongst my submergent plants here, this northern milfoil. I won't pour it directly onto the plants, somewhat around them. We'll come back and see the effects. And I've got some on that one lily leaf right there, so we'll see if that has any effect when we come back and check up on things. So we're just about 10 minutes now, really just was putting away the jugs and cleaning things up. You can already start to see the effects. This algae here is starting to float up, big lifts of it floating up. Again, if I didn't want to demonstrate the effects, I'd get in and pull most of that out first, and then just use the peroxide on the residual bits that are tucked in and amongst the rocks. But this really demonstrates it a bit better. get over and look at the stream. You can really see where we first poured it in, so maybe 15 minutes. You can see this lifting, lifting right up, this big mat of it, which then we'll just pull out and throw into the garden. And if you look close, you can see it's still bubbling, which is the oxidizing taking place. 
killing off the algae and even lifting up the fine dirt and debris that's down on the rocks. And very much so on the waterfall. Really bubbled up. So we'll let that sit for a while. Come back and clean it up and scoop this out with a net. Turn the waterfall back on, let the system get running again. We'll see what it looks like you know, in about another day. Okay, so we had a big thunderstorm here last night, it really stirred up the water and everything. It's still pretty windy right now, so I apologize about the sound if you hear that wind. Let's take a look. This is about 24, 30 hours after I did the peroxide treatment. You'll see what the algae looks like now. And we'll scoop some off and take it from there. Then you could get your pond clean, drop down to a maintenance dose. We'll put some instructions and quantities in the notes. Give you an idea of how to use hydrogen peroxide to get rid of algae in your pond. You'll see how the algae here is very floated right up. It's gone kind of white and translucent died off. Even the stuff down below, underneath the water. As you see it's gone all white like that, it's mean it's died. You want to get it scooped out so it doesn't it simply release all of its nutrients back into the water. Look at the waterfall. After it's been cleaned up, Again, the algae in the stream has floated up. We'll need to peel off and clean out and the stuff down below that's gone all white. That's what you're looking for with the results of the peroxide or any algae treatment. For which time you need to go about cleaning it out, scooping it out as best you can. You can see how we're cleaned up now. 
waterfall looking more like rock than a layer of green. Stream over here, much the same. Realize I got a lot of dirt on the bottom of this, but it is mid September and gathering dust and stuff all year long, so it'll be time for a clean out soon. We'll go along the pond edge, see what else this has done. This spot here at our entry point that had some big clusters of algae. Still bits of remnants down along the rock, but it is dead. So a little bit more brushing and brooming, be able to pull that out. You don't want to let it just sit and rot in the pond. It'll add to your future algae blooms. You can definitely slow it down if it's getting out of hand on you. Same with this spot over here. A little more cleanup. That's about the gist of using hydrogen peroxide to deal with algae in your pond. Mm -hmm.